good evening friends how are you i hope you're all doing well so today i'm going to show you how you can install mongodb on amazon linux too so mongodb it's a very popular no sql based database and i'm using a lot of email projects mongodb it's very fast and you can use it on any kind of projects data analytics big data analytics machine learning all sorts of things so um to get started by default uh, amazon linux doesn't have any uh, packages for mongodb what we have to do is we have to create a uh, or update the repository list and we will update the yum file so the mongodb uh, command is available for yum and then we're going to install it i have a full article written on this uh, mongodb i will give the link of this article into the description box you can just copy paste and install it so uh, let's get started um, I am in my EC2 dashboard and I'm going to create a new instance. Um, let's try the new interface. It's very nice. So give it a name, MongoDB, Amazon Linux 2, free tier available. All this is fine, D2 micro. I'm going to select a key pair number of instance one, everything is as it is. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to HTTP and HTTPS, that's fine. And I'm going to use an IAM instance profile, which I have created previously. If you have seen my other videos, you can see it. It is giving you options to connect to the instance via systems manager. Everything as it is shut down termination protection enabled so you cannot accidentally delete this instance always try to enable this and let's do this launch instance the new interface is good it's one page and it's very predefined i'm really happy that aws has made something uh, nice for the instance creation process Okay, so we have requested for a new instance. It is creating. It will take some time, maybe one or two minutes. Meanwhile, we go to our article and see what we have to do. So we need to edit the yum repo file. I need to create a new file for MongoDB 4.4. The version can be different if you want to use something different. So this is, we have to copy and then we need to run this command. Pretty much simple. So it is running. I tick the checkbox, click connect. I'm in session manager, connect, and I should be able to connect to that instance. Okay. Now I'm going to go to root privilege, sudo su. I'm root now. I first do yum update. Yum update minus y. Okay, clear the screen. Let me make the screen a bit bigger so you can see. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this command. It's very easy. Just copy this, paste it in your terminal, and run it. So it will create a new file in etc yum repository slash mongodb dash org dash 4.4.3. Then I'm going to copy this, paste it here, save the file. And then that's it. We can now run this command. Paste it, sudo yum install, mongodb dash org. And it's installed. It's so simple.
Let me clear my screen. Then uh, let's start the MongoD. So the command is sudo systemctl start mongod d for daemon. It's started and then sudo systemctl start mongo status mongod. So I will check whether this is, has been started or not. It says active running, that means it's started. I will do is uh, sudo systemctl enable mongod so what we'll do is if you restart the server this is instance the mongod will automatically start that's the beauty now uh, i have been started the instance i can uh, run some command here Okay, so the command is just uh, mongo and I'm now into the mongo terminal. So let's see, um, show dbs, sorry, show dbs, show db. Uh, I'm just googling Mongo. list of collections, list of databases. Show DBS. Okay, yeah, show DBS. So we have uh, three databases now. I just made a mistake here <coughs> in the first one. Show DBS. You can see all the databases. I'm going to create a new collection. Okay, um, db create collection name options. Let's create a new collection here. Okay. Now let's do show dbs. So you have, uh, now you have one database that is test and we can, we can use that database or we can create a, uh, new database and uh, run comments over there. For example, uh, show collections. So I'm going to use test. That means I'm switched to test database and then I'm going to show collections. We have only one collection and I can create new collection db dot Create collection users, and then we see show collections. Two collections. So we can now insert data into this table as well. Insert document. That's also possible. I'm just going to copy this and run it here. In inserted one, so db dot users. So we have uh, clear my screen. It's a shell, so it will not run clear screen. But I, I think if I move this up, you will see that I have created one record, and if I use users find, I will see all the records that is available here even i can i can search with uh, uh, with email as well right so let's say db dot users dot find and then you have email 
I made some mistakes, maybe. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. It's only DC. You see, it's such with that item. Now, if you have uh, hundreds of records, then you can find out a record from the terminal. So that's that's a quick uh, introduction on MongoDB, and I have shown to you how you can install MongoDB on Amazon Linux to how to create new database, how to create new collections, how to insert new records. Even we can delete uh, items as well. So that's it for today. I hope this helps you to get started with MongoDB and AWS. There is a managed service in AWS which is called Document DB. Uh, this is this is a managed MongoDB. So if you do not want to take this hassle or install by yourself, you can use this managed service. But this is expensive, I must say. I have tried with this and uh, it costs you around 70 to 80 dollars per month. With EC2, you can just launch a new EC2 instance and run the MongoDB. Maybe it costs you five dollars per month. So. So if you have a big project, I should suggest you to use document DB. But if you're just starting and trying to learn or uh, the project is small, then EC2 is fine. You can use it and you can run it. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I really appreciate it. that helps me to create more videos in coming days. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.